Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Today we are going to take a look at a very cool older Safari LTD figure. And this is actually the Missing Links Woolly Rhinoceros. Now, if you have never heard of the Missing Links line, it was a random line of Safari LTD figures. I actually reviewed their Sabertooth Cat from that line. And this is the only other figure I believe I have from that line. This, of course, as I stated, is the Woolly Rhino. A very cool looking figure. I actually am a huge fan of it. I got this in that very cool box of really nice older rare figures I received a little while back and I was definitely quite excited to have it as at that time I had never even heard of this figure but now having it here in hand although it's not probably one of your most realistic depictions of the woolly rhino it's definitely one of my favorite because I think overall it is a very cool looking figure so without further ado let's go ahead and get a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head, you can see that the head sculpt is really quite nicely done. Just tons and tons of detail to be found, as well as kind of the uh, skull shape of the animal. You can make out a little bit there, but you really have a very hairy type of an appearance to it. You have some really nice skin detail up here on the snout. You also can tell that there are the nostrils sculpted out right there, and they are highlighted with a dark blackish coloration. But look at the really cool skin detail up here on the snout of the woolly rhino. It's very, very nice looking. Lots of incredible detailing to be found. You can also see the mouth is open. You have the tongue inside the mouth there painted with like a light pink. And then you also have the teeth, which the teeth are actually painted really nicely. I feel like the way that the mouth is open kind of gives him a little bit of a goofy appearance, but at the same time, it's actually quite nice. And just the fact that the paint is so well done makes the figure overall very pleasing to the eye. Coming up into the horns, you can see that the horns of our woolly rhino are beautifully sculpted out and very nice looking. You can see that there is just actually a ton of detail to be found within the horns. They are jam-packed with kind of cracks and crevices all over the place as well as kind of painted with like a light white coloration and then dry brushed with a nice dark gray. So it brings the detail out really nicely but also kind of makes the Horns look like they're a little bit dirty, which is a really cool appearance for them. You can see that the eye socket is really nicely sculpted out there. Beautiful detailing all over the place as far as like that skin detail as it is starting to transfer into this hair right here on the animal. And you can see the eyes are painted with a black and then given a nice white spot, maybe to kind of insinuate eye shine. It's definitely a little bit of a creepy look as far as the eyes go, but I really think it works really well for the figure at the same time. As you move back here, you can see kind of like some beautiful fur detail as we head up over top of this little lump right here. And you can see the ears are sculpted out quite nicely. Very, very nice fur detail all over this animal. It's very big scruffy fur. As you know, this animal would be a, living in a pretty cold climate, so it's going to need some nice scruffy fur to stay warm. And you can see that Safari LTD did a fantastic job of sculpting that out everywhere and also kind of including different tones of color. You can see like light brown dry brushings and dark brown, almost like black areas kind of striped through, as well as the regular brown coloration of the animal. And just in general, you can see so many different variations of browns included throughout the paint of this figure, and it really gives it a very lifelike appearance. Very kind of scruffy fur, very wavy as you move down into the body. You can see that the legs are sculpted quite nicely, you have a very nice sculpt up here on the front as far as the foot goes. Very nicely painted nails. Beautifully done. No sloppiness really that I can see. You kind of can tell like some muscle tone there in that leg and the rear leg. The legs look very small on the animal, but I think it's mostly due to the fact that there is so much fur kind of coming down and just overtaking the legs. And you can't really elaborate the legs too well from the body just because there is so much fur. And in general, the figure is actually really big. It's quite heavy. For being a safari ltd figure the underside as well sports some really beautiful fur detail really nicely done as well as the detailing here on the underside of the feet is actually quite nicely done you can see coming up here that the hip bone is ever so slightly present you can kind of actually see some creases in like the fur right here just because of this like pushing into the body so they have done some really nice uh detailing to the figure nice attention to detail on the way the body would be reacting the leg looks very large very thick and muscular like you would expect to find. You do have the tail back here, which you can see is kind of elaborated again with that nice dry brushing of a lighter brown. And then here's that little tuft of fur at the end of the tail, which is painted with a black. Looking at the opposing side, again, really beautiful fur detail 
all over the place, a nicely sculpted ear. You have kind of some sagging skin here in the throat or sagging fur. I don't know exactly which version they're trying to go for, but actually I would say it's probably uh, some skin and then the fur down around it. Really nice fur detail. Again, a beautiful color variation with, like I had stated, many different variations of brown. As we move back here into the body, you can see that hump up there on the back is also really nicely displayed and beautifully sculpted. This leg is reaching out quite a bit further than the one on the other side there. So you can see that the fur is kind of going along with the leg and it looks really quite nicely done. Beautiful foot sculpt over here once again. Like I had stated, maybe not your most up-to-date woolly rhino, but still really cool looking. Nice kind of sagging fur. You can almost see like the fur hanging off of the body, especially on this side because now the legs are further apart so they'd be stretching that fur out quite a bit. And you can see it's really beautifully sculpted throughout this woolly rhino. Very nice looking here on the underside over here as well. Once again, this rear leg is very big, very muscular looking, and uh, overall really nicely done. This is definitely a very cool woolly rhino figure, a very rare one as well, but it's absolutely beautiful as far as the overall appearance. Again, not your uh, most up-to-date version of it, but considering how long ago this was made, if we can get a year here. So 1997, so it's been a very long time since this figure was released, and Honestly, for its time, it was probably an absolutely beautiful figure, but I still think, even by today's standards, not being up to date, but as far as sculpt work goes, it is absolutely awesome. As far as the size goes on our woolly rhino, from the back of the animal to the snout, you're looking at about 6 and 3 quarter inches, or around the 17 centimeter range, maybe close to 17 and a half. The highest point would clearly be that horn, so you're looking at about four and three, actually close to five inches. It's very, very close, like a sixteenth under, or about twelve and a half centimeters, maybe close to thirteen, somewhere in that range. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line, helping to show you that this woolly rhino absolutely has some pretty darn good size to it. As I stated, it is a big figure and specifically like thickness. You can see it's a very thick figure. So it really does have uh, some significant weight to it for being a figure like this. But next to these figures, this should hopefully tell you that again, this is a quite sizable figure of a woolly rhino. So this Safari LTD Missing Link's woolly rhinoceros is really, really cool. An absolutely beautiful rendition of this figure of this species and i think that safari did a great job on this figure honestly i would uh love to learn more about the missing links line and find out what other figures may have been included because i do have the saber tooth cat as well as this clearly this woolly rhino i don't know if there were any other figures included with the line but if there were i would love to check them out because both this and the saber tooth cat were very impressive and uh definitely the type of figure that i would love to see more of would be this line of Missing Links figures. I feel like they look just a bit different than your normal Safari LTD figures, so I'm really kind of drawn to them. But again, it's really beautiful as far as the sculpt goes. Lots of really nice fur detail throughout the figure in every area. So it does look like a very large animal, but at the same time a very furry animal. And living in a very cold climate like it did, it would have to be very furry like this to stay warm and stay alive. So I think Safari did a great job of kind of representing that throughout the sculpt of the figure as well as areas that just in general have like a very nice realistic look like the horns up on the head kind of appearing like maybe they're a little bit dirty but given that very nice dry brushing of that dark gray it was a really nice touch and also helps to bring the detail out to show you just how much sculpt was put into the horns and with all the cracks and crevices included, it looks really nice, as well as the beautiful mouth paint. Even though I think the mouth being open gives it a little bit of an awkward look, the very nicely done paintwork inside with just how much care was taken to that and the eyes and everything shows you how much love was put into this figure, and overall I think does help the appeal factor of it. So if you would like to pick this up, I will do my best to find a link on eBay for you to purchase it. Again, it's, I think, pretty rare, pretty expensive, so I don't know how much it will cost to actually pick it up. But I will include a link if I can find one. But regardless, if you do want to pick this up, I hope you do find it at some point. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.